Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Winnie G and if you're new here, Today's video is sponsored. All the links to the hair will be down below in the description bar. And they sent me these really cool goodies to go along with this gorgeous reddish brown wig. It is so pretty and perfect for fall, girl. So let's go ahead and um, put this on. As you can see, it comes with an adjustable strap and combs along the back of the frontal, the sides, and in the back of the entire wig and this lace is lacing okay the hd lace is absolutely amazing it's super duper thin and stretchy which i love i only kept the comb all the way in the back of the wig and i tightened the adjustable strap and i applied a little bit of foundation just to make sure that the lace is blending in with my skin tone I'm using a little bit of the Bold Hold Liquid Gold to hold down my lace cap. I decided to go for a full, you know, ball cap method situation. I tend to go that route, especially with HD lace wigs, because typically you can see through the lace, so you can see if your cap is, you know, slapped on top of your head. We don't have time for that. And I've been really liking keeping the whole elastic band on my cap, especially when I do the bald cap method. It really adds some extra security and I don't have to worry about my wig cap falling all out of my wig in the back. So that is a plus. I'm just applying a little bit of foundation on the whole bald cap to make sure that everything is nice and blended. And then I'm using a little bit of the Even Lace Spray to kind of blend those edges in. Alright, so we got our base ready. I'm going to go ahead and pop the wig on to see how everything fits. And the wig fits really, really well. I just need to customize it to my hairline a bit, but first I'm applying a little bit of hairspray just to kind of get any flyaways calmed down. And it makes the hair a lot easier to work with. And then I'm trimming any additional lace on the ear tabs. And my hairline is a little like high in the middle and low on the sides so I took a little bit of the hair out of the front of the hairline in the middle to give me a more natural rounded hairline and I'm just literally snatching that hair out of the lace. I gave the lace a little slight cut just because I got tired of it rubbing on my eyebrows. I just applied a little bit more of that even spray to kind of melt the lace in. And then I'm going in with my scissors and I'm cutting really jagged kind of back and forth to create a textured lace line so it blends in really smooth. And then I'm finishing up the install with a little bit of some super hold hairspray. I'll leave the link down below in the description bar if I can find it, but it really just helps to melt everything in. It's not a super hold, it just really like melts. I don't know child, you gotta try it. That's the only way I can describe it is melted.
And I'm just going in with my hot comb, a little bit of hairspray, my wax stick, and just getting this hair as smooth as possible on top. And then I'm defining my part with a little bit of concealer and applying a little bit of hair serum for some shine, girl, before we get into the cut. So the texture on this hair was so pretty and straight, I kind of wanted to play that up rather than trying to, you know, curl it and do too much. So I just parted from the crown of my hair till about my ear and I'm adding some heavy layers in the front, starting at about my cheekbone. And then I'm going in with my one inch babbleless flat irons and smoothing everything out and adding a little bit of a curl to the end for that like 90s bump that y'all know that I love. And this is the finished look. I decided not to add any baby hair because I wanted to go for a really simple look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye babes.